What's up, everybody? It is Wednesday, September 28th, 2022. I hope you're having a great uh, day. Uh, the markets are closed now. I just got done editing a video. I'll put it on the end of this clip. <clears throat> but um, my name is Jerry. Um, if, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Jerry. I'm originally from uh, Rochester, New York. I was born and raised, been in the military, uh, lived like all over the place. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but now I reside in Las Vegas, Nevada for almost two years now. And I, and I really I really enjoy it. Um, it's a fast town, um, but I, I really enjoy it. Uh, Nevada is the silver state. And uh, I like that because silver is my favorite, uh, my favorite investment. And I do mean investment. Um, the US equities were up today. The dollar was down. And silver, Bitcoin, platinum, gold were all up. And the bond market uh, was down. Uh, the London, uh, the Bank of London, excuse me, <clears throat> they started to uh, reverse course as far as their uh, money supply and what they were doing. So they decided to uh, stop raising interest rates and started uh, quantitative easing, um, which uh, we will be doing in the next 12 months, but I'll get into that in another video. Uh, the reason I tell you about myself is um, it's very interesting when you, when you, I did a video, this video I did was two days after the last one it was august uh i forget it was either 9th or 11th 2021 and i am a silver addict guys and i'm pretty sure most of you that are watching this are too um right now the the silver prices are that and at the time of the video i believe they were 23 dollars and 57 cents down to 23 dollars and 57 cents now i know the premiums are much higher now than they were then but relatively speaking um those prices were much higher than they are now. And I was happy when they went to those prices. I actually spent, after spending a thousand, five bucks, two days before that on a Saturday, that next Monday, I uh, I spent uh, a couple hundred more bucks. Bucks. I actually took money out of my, out of my uh, bill money. <clears throat> and I'm watching the internal struggle that I had in this, in this clip where I, I, I'm literally, uh, I do this every day, man. I, I go through it every day and I'm sure you do too. Um, but it's interesting to see what I paid for certain things and stuff like that. But the moral of the story is, uh, you know, don't don't spend your bill money like me. This is a this is a warning to you before you watch this video. Uh, Cause I literally spent my bill money. Now me personally, the reason why my name is Jerry Loves Freedom and Decentralized Assets is because I don't have a J-O-B. Um, I, I am retired military, so I get a, a, a check coming in every single 30 days, every single month on the first, and I get that no matter what. Also, I have investments um, or assets that pay me on a weekly, uh, monthly, and sometimes daily, uh, you know, reoccurring thing. So I don't, I don't need a job. I'm, I'm financially free, but at the same time, I still have to be careful uh not to spend more than what uh is coming in we all have to do that and so uh you know i'll go around here i'll deliver food i'll i'll do you know i'll drive for dollars i'll go and <clears throat> get stuff from a garage sale or something like that and i'll go in and, and get some cash I, I just ride around i i work seven days a week i'm not i'm not joking when i say that i literally work seven days a week so um warning uh to, like i said in this video i do uh spend my bill money and i don't want you guys to do that but i uh, hope you guys enjoy it from last year august of 2021 and let me know what you think about the video and the pickups and i uh, hope you enjoy thank you for watching what's up guys um <laughs> man i'm about to get myself in trouble today um you see the prices the, the the spot prices okay um you, you gotta you gotta buy today you have to you know what i mean um i don't know how long they're gonna be like this but i'm about to dip in my bill money i, I have to guys <sighs> well, i don't have to but i, I have to <laughs> so i'm just gonna have to work my butt off these next two weeks but i i gotta get it man i gotta get it so I'm headed to the Nevada Coin and Jewelry right now, guys. <clears throat> it's uh, about 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. They close in an hour. I got a couple things to do today. 
today, Monday, usually I take, um, not the day off, but I take like a half a day off where I just get together because I work seven days a week. You know, I, mean, I don't believe in days off and I'll make a video about that. Um, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, that's just all arbitrary numbers. Everything is arbitrary nowadays. But yeah, I'm going to get a mix of stuff. Depends on the prices though. Um, I plan on getting, you know, a balance of stuff, 50 cent pieces, American Eagle, um, maybe some Maples, maybe some Morgans, who knows? But again, once I get in there, <laughs> I, I have a plan. You know what they say about plans? You have a plan to get punched in the mouth. Um, <laughs> and when he pulls stuff out and Laura is in there and everything else, uh, that's how you get punched in the mouth. So I'm going to pull in here pulling it now and uh there's my boys trucks and vehicles so i'm gonna pull in there and uh we're gonna see what happens all right guys so this is a few hours after i left the nevada coin and jewelry let me t let me tell you something man i love those guys over there man dennis that's my that's my guy man Nick, that's my boy. Um, I love interacting with those dudes, man. So me and Dennis were having a long talk. <clears throat> there was a couple of customers that came in there. This is this is my bag from the other day, the other video I showed you. I'll just let you look at that while we while I talk. And uh, me and Dennis, I tell you, man, we're we're connecting on a, on a on a high level because Dennis is a is a real smart dude, man. You know, he really is. This is stuff I got from the other day, and. Um, he was just telling me a bunch of stuff about inflation and, you know, the government and everything else. <clears throat> then a customer came in there. <clears throat> now, when I say this stuff, guys, I don't want to tell, like, their business and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you guys know they're a coin shop. And you know they, they sell gold and silver, so it's no big deal. But there was a customer in there that came in. And let's just say this person comes in there a lot and buys a lot of gold uh, frequently. And when I mean a lot, I'm talking uh more than an ounce okay i'll just say that and they just come in there with all this cash man and just makes you kind of like man it just humbles you you know because you think you're really doing something and then you see what they, these people have he's just like wow man what, what what am i doing wrong i always tell nick that i go nick what, what am i doing wrong bro can, can i come in here and buy gold ounces of gold every day like geez but anyways let, let's let's show you what i got so Remember I told you I was gonna get get a, a array of stuff of different things. I did that. Um, I thought I was gonna get a, a a bigger amount, but I was working with not a lot of money. I actually had 250 in cash, and then I spent uh, 251 dollars. I spent in cash, and I spent then I zelled him. Yep, zelled him 70 bucks. So let's see what I got first. First thing I got. First thing I said. Let me get these two American uh, Eagles. They were $33 a piece. What year are these? Uh, 2020 and I think it's 2020, yep. So I got 220 American Eagles, 220 20 American Eagles uh, for 33 bucks at $66. We, we bought in a dip, you know what I mean? So that's a good price, man. I, I bought uh, in the last few months, I, I, I paid more than this for uh, Canadian Maple Leafs. So when it's low like this, you got to get it. I was actually just going to go buy all American Eagles, but I, you know me, I try to, I try to um, mix it up, except if it's Maples. Maples, I just buy a bunch of them for some reason. So that's the first thing I got. Second thing I got was, um, what should I show you next? I'll say, I guess I'll say the best for last, I guess. So I got some Britannias. Cause I asked him, I said, I said, Nick, how much for the generic uh, rounds? He said they were 27 bucks for generics, right? So I'm like, all right, let me see those. And nothing was wrong with the generics he had. Cause he's got everything, you know what I mean? But he'll have like a bin full of stuff. And the stuff that he had in that particular bin, um, you know, they're just regular, like uh, Native American, um, you know, the rounds, you know, the, you know, the Indian round but the buffalo rounds and you know little stuff here and there and it wasn't something that was popping out the, when i get generics i like stuff that's that's cool or something i don't have or some kind of semi-collectible so they're 27 bucks 
So then he mentions to me, he goes, well, uh, Britannia's are pretty cheap today. I said, how much are those? He goes, twenty-seven seventy-five. I go, wow. I was like, all right, uh, give me two of those. Because remember, only my my budget was low, and I already got two of these. That was 66 bucks. So I got two of these at twenty-seven seventy-five. I was going to get more, but I knew I wanted some different stuff. And then also, um, you'll see in my constitutional video, if you haven't seen it already, which you probably have by now. Um, I have more uh, um, uh, Liberties and uh, Kennedys than I do uh, Franklins, I believe. So I went ahead and got 10 Franklins at uh, $10 a piece. Um, they've already been $10, but still at $10, uh, $20 face value, that's a good deal. So I bought 10 of them. Um, now remember, he still got the Morgans for 27 bucks too, but I didn't get any of those today. So yeah, we got 10 um, uh, 50 cent pieces for $10, that's a hundred bucks. This is our favorite, guys. We know we love the fractionals. We love it. And last and certainly not least, this is actually the second thing I bought when I wanted to show you this last. He goes, he puts this on the table because he, Nick knows me, man. He knows exactly what I want. And he goes, boom, this is a hundred bucks. I go, oh man. Now the price wasn't great for my standards, but they were good uh, for fractionals and what's going on. So basically there's 65 uh, pieces in here. Somebody must've sold it to him. And uh, you know, for whatever price, and he sold them to me for a hundred bucks. Now, uh, you know, we, we try to get silver at 30 or under a, uh, an ounce, right? And we know that there's 31, roughly 31.1 um, grams in an ounce, in a troy ounce. And that means there's, uh, you know, 31 of these, or 31.1 or whatever, 32 of them, I guess, or something like that, in an ounce. Well, 65 of these, you know, for 100 bucks uh, is not the best price, but for fractionals right now, they are the best price. I've actually paid a lot less for this, but hey, he gave me a good deal on them, man. He, for, you know, for what's going on, he gave me a good deal. And uh, it's like a dollar and 53 cents, something like that, uh, per gram. So not bad, guys. And the way I look at it, man, is it's not like I'm buying this stuff and flipping it. I'm actually talking to myself to make myself feel bad that I bought this. But anyways, it's not like I'm, um, you know, going to sell it tomorrow. I, I plan on keeping this stuff. And, and fractionals, guys, to me, they're so they're so valuable. They are. And also, too, um, so I end up spending 321 bucks total for all this stuff. And also, too, he asked me, he always asked me if I want a case. And I said, yeah, and he throws me in. I go, which one you want, the Britannia? I was like, no, nah, give me the American Eagle. You know, these ain't cheap, man. He's got so many of them, and I'm a good customer. And he's a, he's a good uh, coin shop owner. He's a great coin shop owner. He's got great customer service. So he, so he gives it to me in the, in the, in the price of everything else. So uh, there you have it, guys. We got fractionals. Um, we got 65 transactions in here. That's how I look at it. Because think about it, man. If, if silver goes up to $300 an ounce, $400, five, six hundred, whatever, um, one troy ounce is going to be hard to break, right? So we got the grammars, you know, at whatever per per ounce it is at the time, break it down into one thirty one or whatever it is. Um, that's a good deal, man. And then the tenth ounces and everything else. So yeah, guys, there we have it. We got uh, a few ounces to the stack. I'm not sure how many ounces. Uh, you guys can do the math on that. We got at least a little bit over two ounces in this four six and then i guess every dollar 40 is uh another ounce and we got what uh five bucks so do the math on that so yeah there we have it um not mad at it at all guys and i was i was talking to a really good friend of mine today about inflation and everything else man and today i was being a silver ambassador bitcoin gold and platinum ambassador man and telling them about the real money because to me that's the that's the real money it really is this stuff is the real is just the real physical money and bitcoin is the best digital money in my opinion um no cbdc's um <laughs> that will be coming in the next three to, to seven years maybe whenever it's coming 
I'm, I'm, I'm creating my own bank and so are you guys. And you guys gotta spread the word and make sure that everybody you know becomes their own bank. And how do you do that? Uh, you know, you get decentralized assets like these, you know, and, uh, you know, and stack up the stuff that you need to water, uh, canned goods, foods, packaged foods, things to survive, security, all the stuff, just in case some stuff happens, man, we got to be ready. And, uh, this is, this is solid money man, right here. And when I, Nick, i tell you, man, Nick from the Nevada coin jewelry, that guy motivates me, man. Cause I want to be like him when I grow up. <laughs> Like when I see all that stuff he has, I'm like, man, if I just keep on stacking and keep on doing it, I can do the same thing he's doing one day. I think I would love to be a coin shop owner, man. I think I'd be a damn good one too. Uh, except I probably would be a bad one because I wouldn't want to sell anything. <laughs> but other than that, yeah. So yeah, guys, there we have it. We have a few ounces to the stack, uh, to the stizak, excuse me. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about the pickups today. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You know, what the price is today at $23, and I think it was 57 cents, something like that. Um, did I pay too much? Did I get a good deal? Uh, let me know. Uh, please, guys, in the comment section below. Do me a favor, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button only if you like it. If you like my channel and my videos, go ahead and share it. Guys, am I sharing stuff with you? Yes. I even shared this stuff from earlier, from the other day. Still got it in the bag. All right. We're stacking. Okay. We're stacking this stuff up like dirty clothes, guys. That, that's what we got to do, man. We got to get the, we got to get this real money, guys. All right. We love it. I mean, do we not? Do we not love this stuff, man? It's like a pretty girl, man. I can just look at it all day. That's why I put girls in my videos. So that we can uh, look at our two favorite things besides our family. Pretty women, silver, gold. It's like a little treasure chest, man. I sit there and play with this stuff for hours, man. I'm, I'm not kidding you. I just look at this stuff and go, man, why didn't I know about this years ago? These are my last two purchases, guys. We love it. Some Morgans, where the Morgans are. Morgans are around here somewhere. Are they in the car? Yeah, guys, so. We love this stuff, man. So let's keep it, let's keep it pushing, guys, and let's keep it going, all right? I love you guys. Uh, you know, share my videos. I'm sharing stuff with you. Uh, least you can do is uh, share the videos, because you already know. Sharing is caring. We know this. All right, you guys also know I love you uh, very much. Guys and girls, especially the guys. You guys are my boys, not in that way. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Have a have a blessed one, man. All right, use this as motivation. Get your stack up. I know a lot of you guys probably have a lot more than this, but uh, we got to keep it going, man. One of these days, man, this is going to be worth a lot. And uh, turn that funny money into the real money. I'll talk to you guys soon, all right? Peace and love, guys.